what the f what the fuck did I just watch? Like I'm genuinely at a loss for words because like, who was that for? <laughs> there are just some things that I believe the human eye should not be able to experience and that shower scene in this movie is definitely one of them. I mean, it's up there with the bedroom scene from the second Terrifier. Like I didn't know whether to feel scared, nauseous, disgusted, or laugh. <laughs> This shit was sending mixed signals like a mother. If you couldn't already tell, I just got back from watching Terrifier 3. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is probably the most disgusting gore-filled film I've seen all year. But like low-key, I gotta respect it. <laughs> they call him Art the Clown for a reason. This man loves to admire his own work. And I'm not gonna hold you, I'm not a big fan of gore in horror movies, especially when they just spam gore. So that's why I didn't really like the first Terrifier, but then I watched the second one, we got a little semblance of a story and a character in Sienna to latch onto. In Sienna. Uh -huh. So going into Terrifier 3, I was like, okay, this one might just be the best of the three. And to be honest with you, it's still a mixed bag. You definitely get way more gore, way more blood, way more violence, way more body parts. And this time around, R said anyone can get it, even kids. Now it is done in a, I guess, tasteful way. Let's just say there's a reason this man is Santa and he's giving out gifts. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. I would have rather have gotten cold myself personally. Now let's go through all the positives. Now this movie is working off of a $2 million budget. And for what it's worth, I think it's shot pretty well. I love the practical effects, even though it's gory as hell. Color dye cornstarch and syrup. I gotta keep reminding myself about that. It's not real blood, but uh, and it kills. Puh, they are brutal. Someone walked out within the first 10 minutes and that shit wasn't even that bad. Midway through the shower scene, I saw like four or five grown adults walk out. But me, I'm a dog. Rawr. I mainly stayed for CNN, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't care, I don't care. And the comedy is kind of hit or miss. Me personally, I'm a fan of Art the Clown's comedy style, so it was hidden for me. But outside of that, the story is kind of generic. They don't really dive into the lore like they did with the second one. I was hoping they would kind of expand on that a little bit. And that's what I think separates the Terrifier franchise from like a really good gore franchise like Saw, which has compelling characters and interesting storylines on top of the gore. But I do love Sienna as a final girl. I think she's a badass. <laughs> she was really going toe to toe with Art. We already know they're working on a Terrifier 4, and the way this movie ends, they're definitely setting that up because Art is a fucking demon, literally. He's also the biggest cock blocker in the world. Bro saw those two getting jiggy with this shit in the shower and immediately said, boink, go to horny jail. Or in this case, hell, that's the real chainsaw massacre. I don't give a fuck about what happened in Texas. All in all, if you can stomach it, I'd recommend checking this one out. In a way, it's a fun Christmas family film. <laughs> Definitely do not take your children to go watch this movie unless it's a punishment. Gotta start that childhood trauma early. <laughs> but all in all, the Terrifier franchise is just not there for me. But who knows, it might one day. I ended up giving it two and a half out of five stars on Letterboxd. By the way, follow me there to keep up with what I'm watching on a daily basis and for more in-depth reviews and fun top 10 lists. But that's enough of my yapping. What do you think? Are you going to be checking out Terrifier 3 this weekend? If you've already seen it, tell me how many times you threw up down in the comments below. And as always, like and follow for more.